question of torture is a moral question, how you treat other people. So this idea there's a special type of war which justifies torture is a complete illusion. No, nothing justifies torture. Your feet are shackled to the floor and your hands are shackled to your feet, like a squatting position. This is going on in their heads. There's no escape. There's no ability for them to focus on something else or concentrate because this sound is just going round and round in their head and it's taking over their consciousness. The, the notion of it being used to harm someone else is obviously totally horrific and un unacceptable. When I first met Binyam Mohammed back in 2005, I sat across a table from him and we discussed the torture he'd gone through. And I know that the, the impact on him is, is horrific, but I gotta say, I came out of three days of conversation with him absolutely shell-shocked myself. And I learned so much. The other psychological torture, including, for example, the music torture, was worse. I mean, it had never really occurred to me. But the way he put it really explained it well. He said, look, physical stuff, let's say I'm gonna gouge your eyes out, I'm gonna, you're gonna lose your sight, versus I'm gonna drive you crazy, you're gonna lose your mind, which would you choose? However horrific it might be to lose your sight, uh, to, to go insane, I think most people recognize as even worse. And then you begin to understand uh, what this torture by music does to people.